Kamala Harris's remarks on the elusive American dream and her focus on middle-class struggles ring hollow when weighed against her own financial standing. She portrays herself as understanding the plight of everyday Americans, yet as vice president, she enjoys the privileges of multiple homes in affluent areas, a taxpayer-funded salary of $284,600, and a personal fortune reportedly around $10 million. The American dream right now is really elusive for far too many people in terms of even aspiring to own a home. It's, it's too expensive. We don't have enough housing. We have a housing shortage. So part of my plan is to work with the private sector, with builders and developers, to build 3 million more homes by the end of my first term and to give first-time home buyers a $25,000 a down payment assistance so they can just get their foot in the door to home ownership, which is the fastest and the most efficient way for people to build intergenerational wealth. These are the ways that I think about how we build up our country in a way that is about supporting the middle class. I come from the middle class. I'm never going to forget where I come from. Her statement seemed disconnected from the real life challenges most Americans face. The policies championed by her and the Biden administration, such as inflationary spending, tax hikes, and strict housing regulations, arguably contribute to the very issues she claims to sympathize with skyrocketing living costs and housing shortages, which she laments, are often seen as side effects of the government overreach and intervention she continues to advocate for. While she touts initiatives like working with the private sector to build more homes and offering $25,000 in down payment support to first-time buyers, critics argue that these approaches merely plaster over deeper problems. Many believe real solutions lie in reducing government interference, lowering taxes, and allowing the housing market to adjust more freely without the weight of excessive regulations or taxpayer-funded subsidies. Moreover, Harris's self-identification with the middle class seems questionable. Her financial reality is a far cry from that of average Americans grappling with soaring mortgage rates, escalating rents, and a sluggish job market. Her claim of solidarity with the middle class, while enjoying the perks of significant personal wealth, can come across as out of touch, especially when her policies are seen as making it harder for the very people she says she stands with to find financial stability. Ultimately, the message of hope she offers the middle class can feel empty against the backdrop of her wealth and the administration's track record.